The journey for the search of a life partner for Kenny Francis Umeyi, son of Lady Ifenyewa Umeyi, DG Consumer Protection Agency, climaxed with a traditional engagement at the Civic Center Victoria Island Lagos on the 22nd of November 2012 at a colorful outing. Most people turned out in eye-catching traditional gaps to properly situate the significance of the event. There was also a unique performance of cultural music. <laughs> The program began with the traditional breaking of the colonnade. The colonnade was formerly broken by an elderly member of the Umeni family. He prayed that God would bless the couple with the peaceful union, make them fruitful, and bless them with long life and prosperity. He also prayed God to grant Jenny messes to all those who had gathered at the occasion as they go back from wherever they came at the end of the day's occasion. After all had settled down, the Arigbe family asked the Umeyis what their mission was, and the Umeyi family declared that they were seeking to pick a wife and that if the Arigbeis would give them a wife, they would be satisfied. They revealed that they were at the occasion to show their seriousness in following up with their previous visit to the Arigbeis at home with regards to their stated objective. As the negotiation got on, it was revealed that the Umeyis sought the hands of Fate Sylvia Kasina Arigwe, at which point the Arigwe's demanded to see the son of the Umeyis who wants to marry their daughter. The hall then went agog as the handsome groom, Kenny Francis Umeyi, accompanied by friends, stormed the arena. <laughs> The process of ascertaining the physical state of the suitor, as demanded by tradition, was carried out by the Arigwes with the counting of his toes to see if they are complete, indicating that he is really human and not a spirit. After that process, the Arigwes assented to the request of the Umeyis. Next, beautiful fate was ushered into the arena, accompanied by a long line of friends, with dancing to the mesmerizing tunes of the cultural troupe. Beautiful fate was handed over by her family, the Arigwes, to the Umeyes amidst applause and jubilation. The new bride, Faith, then settled down beside her man, Kenny, all in elated spirit. The couple then received the blessings of the elders, after which they shared colonot and drank together. It was then celebration all the way through, with photo sessions and exchange of pleasantries. The new couple had their fair share of the dancing galore. and well wishes expressed their views and prayers for the couple. I am sad 
But at the same time, I am very happy. I am happy because every father wishes this for his daughter. I pray that the Almighty God that has given her this handsome man will give them the love that will bind the two of them together. I hope you can hear me. I met her in law school and I have to say it was love at first sight. Yeah. You know, from the minute I saw her, the way she carried herself, I said, this is the woman I want to be with. When I told her, she thought I was joking. But look at us today, five years later. I met him in law school. His auntie had seen me in a party. I told him that that um, she had seen a girl he should marry. And he asked his auntie what her name was, and she said Faith. And he said, what kind of bush name is that? That he doesn't want to marry a Faith. But then he saw me in law school, and he said I wasn't too bad. The next he started chasing me. We, and, and that's it. We're here now. Spiritual seal was given to the marriage between Faith Sylvia Kessiana and Kenny Francis Umei at Our Lady of Perpetual Help, Musa Yaradua Street, Victoria Island, Lagos, in the presence of friends and relatives of both families. The Holy Communion is an integral part of any Catholic Church service. The couple partook in the Holy Communion to give added spiritual fortification to their lives. This was followed by the signing of the marriage register, which had the parents of the couple, the clergy, and the sponsors of the marriage, Dr. and Mrs. ABC Ojiako, as witnesses as the choir and the entire congregation sang along. The Thanksgiving aspect of the service featured a long drawn-out session of singing and dancing which culminated in special prayers offered for the couple by the officiating minister. The choir of the church rendered special songs to firmly draw the church service to a close. A cross-section of people interviewed gave the couple useful suggestions that will help them as they begin the building of their home. It's a very loving song. It's a very caring song. So I thank God he finally you know, settled with the love of his life. And I wish them, you know, the best that's you know, a marriage is to show, you know, will bring. I wish them fruitfulness in their marriage. I wish them peace. I wish them, you know, God's abundant blessings. Thank you. The prestigious Harbour Point at Victoria Island, Lagos, venue of the reception for the Aripe and Umeni wedding extravaganza, must have played host to one of its largest gatherings since it was opened. Indeed, the families on both sides basked in the goodwill and affection of people from diverse callings and backgrounds as exemplified in the record-breaking audience that witnessed the very colorful wedding ceremony. The intercultural nature of the wedding, with the Ariways, the bride's family from Delta State, and the groom's family, the Umenius, from a number state, is a clarion call by our children to the older generation that their own generation is out to use the veritable platform of marriage to forge the much needed and yet elusive unity among the different ethnic groups in our country. Talking specifically about the mother of the groom, Lady Ifengwa Umeng, the DG of Consumer Protection Agency, who should ordinarily miss the company of her husband at such an auspicious occasion, she was hugely supported by her brothers and sisters, Senators Ugochuku, Andy, and Chief Krisuba, who were there with their spouses. Indeed, with the unprecedented support enjoyed by both families from the ubiquitous Lagos, Enugu, Abuja, Anambra, and Putakot people, who turned out in very eye-catching outfits, it's safe to say that 
the Arikbe and the Umeis were being paid back handsomely for always being there for their friends. The reception family got underway as the two mothers, who had done the same attires in the company of their friends, danced joyously into the hall. <laughs> The bridal train, made up of the groomsmen and bridesmaids, also put up an energetic performance which heralded the grand entry of the couple of the moment, Faith Sylvia Arigwe and Kenny Francis Umi, which energized the entire arena. The breaking of the color knot, which is very sacrosanct at any function the Igbos are involved, was observed. The gathering also observed a minute's silence in remembrance of the late father of the groom, Sir Francis Umei, before the chairman's opening remarks. In his remarks, the chairman of the occasion told the audience that, having critically watched the couple from close quarters for a long time, he has no doubt in his mind that their marriage has all the potentials of succeeding because they are both very fond of each other and their love is deep and will therefore last and last. The curtain of the magnificent cake, which has many colorful layers, was conducted by the chairman who was assisted by a legion of observers who later gave their verdict about what they observed about the way the couple approached their first major assignment. The valedictory dance between the bride and her father, which should usually be emotionally laden, was taken in the strides of father and daughter. The mother of the groom, Lady Ifeyunwa Umei, also engaged her lovely son in a dancing session as the gathering applauded with excitement. The crescendo of the dancing engagement was reached when the couple of the moment squared up to each other with DJ Humility on duty at the turntable first. The final lap of the couple's dance was with Onye Kawen performing. <laughs> It's hearty congratulations to the Arigwe and Umeni families for this giant steps in your lives.